Hello. This topic of forgiveness is really in depth, isn't it? Because it relates to all parts of life, not just the narcissist. Whether we forgive people, what they do to us, what the word forgive means to one person versus what it means to another. It's one of the most talked about concepts ever. The Bible has its version, psychologists have their version, people, everyone has their own different religions, philosophies, their own idea of what forgiveness is. I think the vast array of definitions that are out there prevent us from actually sometimes just forget the wording, forget the semantics. You might not like the word and if in your head is a definition you learned somewhere in one of the aforementioned places that you hold dear, the association with the word that then I'm not going to forgive that person. No way. It means this. Nope. I'm not forgiving that person. If you look within what it means inside, regardless of how it's defined, we're going to talk about this right now. It's better for you that we learn to forgive. If you don't like the word forgive, put accept, put release what they did, put let go, like there's a lot okay let me just back up let me back up because it's always been a struggle for me too it took me years and years and years and years and years and years and years to understand forgiveness and probably only in the last handful one hand of years have i really gotten what i think that it's supposed to mean it really is for yourself and I didn't understand what that meant. And I'm going to tell you what I determined there. I'm going to try to explain it to you the way that I can. You have a bunch of transgressions. You have a, an, a bunch of acts of betrayal. And you're astounded at the thought of forgiving this person. But forgiving the person is about reclaiming your space, your energy, state of mind, your peace for yourself okay but how you say but how can you forgive someone that just comes Renee that either comes or it doesn't you can't you know do anything about it if you don't forgive someone no I think a lot of um forgiveness is a choice it's letting go of the idea uh that the truth could have been different would have been different it's letting go of how you think it could have played out that stuff you have control over, just let that go. It did not go the way that you thought. It didn't go the way that you thought. Okay? You have to accept that. That's what happened. But are you feeling that or are you still holding out for it should have gone the way that I thought? It really should have gone this way. How dare he do that? It should have been this way. It wasn't. They're not you. So, okay, if we don't like the word forgiveness, then we use the word we put acceptance in the place of that. The sooner you just accept, it doesn't mean that you're buckling. I think a lot of people don't forgive because they think that it means if they accept, forgive, again, whatever word you want to attach to that concept, but if you do that, then you are admitting defeat. You are saying you were wrong and they were right. I know a narcissist who's so twisted up, they would absolutely rather be right than have peace. 100%. 100%. I would rather be peace than have to prove I'm right to someone. Because on most issues, unless it's a black and white mathematical scientific equation, there are different t sides or opinions or nobody can say who's right and who's wrong on most arguments that come about in normal everyday life between people. It's your side, my side, and the truth. We have two different points of view going. We have two different, do you know what I'm saying? So who's right and who's wrong doesn't even really matter because they're both subjective who's right and who's wrong. Even if you're sitting there going, oh no, I'm 100% right, I know it. Okay, I know that I was too in many a circumstance 
with certain people that are no longer in my life with whom I've had to let go. Except, let's finish the sentence, not let go what they did. It's not just let it go, just let it go. No one defines it. You'll notice that when I use the word it, first of all, it's a very conscious choice, but I often try to make sure I define what I meant by it because I don't, I think a lot of times people don't. So when they say let it go, my question is let what go? Define it. Let go of the fact of what they did to you that it could have been any different. The idea of the fact that if they, what they did to you could have been, let that idea go. Accept the truth of the fact that they didn't let things play out the way you thought that they should. Accept that that did not happen. You don't like the end of a movie? I've sat there and stared at the screen for 20 minutes yelling at if it's not the movie. I, I like a Hollywood ending. So there's been a few movies that just turn me inside out and I'm just so upset. Okay, but you move on. You don't like the end of the movie. You have to accept the end of your movie, whatever it was with this narcissist. For you to hang on and get all twisted up, it just means that you're, you're not... You're not allowing yourself to stew in it. You're over plotting and planning and executing. You're purposefully, purposefully deciding to move forward and stop carrying the weight of resentment around with you. So see how it's been a while since I mentioned the narcissist. All of what I just mentioned only has to do with you. And what's good for you. You're deciding to not. Like a lot of bitter people. You watch them when they hang on to anger and rage and resentment. They're plotting. They're planning. They're vengeful. They're, you are purposely deciding when you chose, choose to forgive someone. The definition the word I'm using today is forgive. You are deciding to let any of that resentment. You're deciding to move forward and not carry it. You can make that decision. I can't escape this, Renee. What he did to me, it'll always be on my mind. Okay, but you don't have to be resentful that it happened. You have to accept that it happened because that's the type of person that they are. Forgiving them doesn't mean that you're letting them think their action was okay. Forgiving them for yourself to move forward without the weight on you is 100% for you. Okay, so what would that look like in life? Personified? Like if he were in front of me? I think I would say to him, I really, really feel bad for whatever happened to you. In your, and so see, we're using empathy, right? That can work here. I would actually say, I feel bad for you. I pity the life that you are destined to live and that you've been roaming the earth this way for 40 years. I really feel bad for your life. And I don't think about the way things should have been anymore. I understand now that it would have worked out that way regardless of anything I would have done and that every single bit of it rests with you and nothing had to do with me and I let it roll off my back. Hope you're well. Bye-bye. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I'd like to think it wouldn't be a rageful, you know, I am at the point that I feel bad. I pity the life he's living, that he's been living, roaming all around. Even if it were a horrific, the way it ran down, I have way accepted it. That was the ending of the movie. The way it worked out is the way that the screenplay was written. Their screenplay is already written for every single partner they'll ever have. It's going to have a rotten ending. They don't get the good ending. And you were never, we were never going to get the good ending with them. We thought for a minute that we were in that love bombing phase, but we were never getting that. So it's kind of, e I kind of look at it once I grasp that, it became easier to say, I'll just forgive him. Meaning doesn't mean he's right, I'm wrong. I, I'm right about every single thing in the entire universe when it comes to him. He'll tell you that. And so are you about yours. Doesn't mean we're not right. I'm just forgiving him. He couldn't help himself. 
They can't help it. it they're dysfunctional. You can't help behaving in a deplorable fashion. It's your disorder. You're just a regular person who acts in a way that is dictated by a power other than your own mind. I feel really bad. It must really stink to be you and led by things out of your control. You want to talk about it? Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to be condescending, but I could hear it in my voice that I was being that way. Because I almost, once you turn the corner around Forgiveness Corner, you do look back and think, oh, God, poor things. They're worse off than we are. We're through it. They're in it all the time. It's their life. So you forgiving them means that whether or not they deserve it, it, it doesn't matter whether or not they deserve it, you deserve the peace that comes when you forgive them. Which means all the things I just said. Letting go of the expectation of what it could be, it means not carrying around resentment with you over the actions that they did and accepting that that truth was going to be that truth regardless because they're built that way. You know, I used the, the example before when I had another video that I made about forgiveness. I remember using the example of the Godfather before and I'm going to again. When they shoot down Marlon Brando at the fruit stand and you see them come in and there's a bunch of the next scene shot to the next scene and shortly thereafter and and they say oh we need him now because there's a bunch of security and they say we need him now sonny hit bruno tatalia for this morning sonny took revenge on his father the attempt on his father's life spoiler if you've never seen godfather and then what do they do they shoot sonny on the causeway if I spoiled it for you, I'm very sorry. But if you haven't seen Godfather by now, then when this video's over, you need to go watch all of them. I don't care what anybody says about three. You need to watch all of them, especially one and two. But even three, just watch it, all of them, immediately. But the father, the one who was shot, the injured party, is the one that pulls a conference together and says this war stops now. And he makes peace and he toasts that he will not be the one to break the peace that they made here today, he says. He knows. He's worried about bringing his son Michael home from Italy. He's worried about vengeance. He has, a, You know what I mean? He makes the peace to stop the escalation. He forgives. He doesn't carry it on his back and they all move forward. It's absolutely... If he hadn't done that, of course, if it didn't work out the way, we wouldn't have had one of the greatest movies in history, right? But Sonny was one of the greatest movie characters of all time. If he didn't make the choice to seek the revenge and they got him on the, it would have been a different movie. So I get it. But it's very heartbreaking when you see a father look at his son, look how they massacred my boy. And this war stops now. He's beside himself, he's lost his son. And there's just a back and forth. If someone doesn't stop, if someone, if everyone says, nope, I'm right. If someone doesn't stop and say, whoa, I want peace, instead of being right. He didn't retaliate. He said, stop. Because he's worried about his other son and his other, you know what I mean? At some point, somebody's got to take the reins and say, peace is more important to me than being right. My peace. Not peace with that person. They might not even be in your life anymore. Whether it's the narcissist or an ex-friend or an ex who They might... But the peace is for you. Because if you walk around with all of that attached to you, it will weigh you down. And you'll be bitter and you'll be resentful and you'll want to seek, you know, that onto them and make them be punished and make them pay and make them feel bad and make them... Those are wasted emotions and actions, and all it will do is bring your vibe down, your blood pressure up. You've been knots all the time. Who can live like that? Your life should be about you, not anything to do with them anymore. You shouldn't, that's a lot of energy. I just expunged in 30 seconds it took me to list the things that you would have to do and think about them. 
to think about them, to stew about them, to plot, to plan. I'm exhausted. My neck hurts just saying those words. You release that. You forgive them. It's for you. It doesn't mean forgive like you're conditioned to think it means with whatever definition you grew up hearing it means. T.D. Jakes and Oprah, I think T.D. Jakes was on Oprah, is where I finally, finally, it finally clicked when I heard him say, it's letting go, I'm paraphrasing, of the idea that the truth could have been any different. I'm pretty sure that's the first time I heard that on Oprah and it was T.D. Jakes and they were having a discussion. Which one said it, I can't recall, but that's, I remember seeing them both. So whichever episode, I'm sure she had him on a lot, but it is letting go of the, of that anything could have been any different. That's, I think when you're, when, when something's unforgivable, it's because you think you should never have done that. You should have done that completely differently. I can't believe you did that. Okay. Well, accepting the truth that they did do it that way is the only way to go because they can't change the past. That's not going to change. So if you hold on to the hurt, or maybe you're like, well, I just want them to acknowledge what they did was wrong. With the narcissist, that's never going to happen. So then you're going to hold on to it forever if that's what you're waiting for. You have to make the decision to have peace over being right or getting some kind of apology or to getting some kind of explanation or be told why. They don't even know why. We know more about why they do what they do than they do. Yeah. So you can't wait on them. This is an independent action, you forgiving someone. It has nothing to do with them. I'll forgive them as soon as they say sorry. No. No. This is independent of them. This is only for you, done by you, done within you, done for you, for you, for you. To forgive someone else it, it is not dependent on their what they do let them stew let them even think this is a mess and that doesn't mean you have to call them and tell them by the way you're just doing it with you you don't have to eat crow or or you know call and sit you never have to discuss anything if you end up back in the room with someone in your life that you don't want to forgive but in your mind you're like you know what i'll forgive them it doesn't mean you have to Take them off into the corner and let them know, oh, I forgive you. I'm not saying you have to go that far, but you can certainly get to a point of peace and not care whether or not your stance of non-forgiveness equals that you're right. Because that's what they think. They think they're always going to be right. And they're not going to fold. They're more wanting to be right, many people, especially narcissists, than wanting peace. So if you want peace to move forward in your heart, in your mind, in your body, in your soul, it is, that is a concept around which you have to wrap your brain, that it is good for you to do that. So do you have to forgive your narcissist? No, but you'd be walking around awfully angry for a very long time, I think.